If you've worked with the Postgres database before, you probably know how to connect to it and what the connection string looks like. It is something like this, where we use the PostgreSQL protocol. So that's the front end, back end protocol, as Postgres calls it. We give a username, password, we give a host name. 5432 is the default port, and then we give a database name and maybe some optional parameters after this. But in general, this is what a connection string looks like. Now, when we go to connect to a Prisma Postgres database, things look a little bit different. And that's because Prisma Postgres is served by by Accelerate. Accelerate is something that handles connection pooling and caching, and it sits in front of the Prisma Postgres database, and then it handles the connections to the database itself. So the connection string itself is going to look different, and we won't be able to use it from Table Plus or DataGrip or some other SQL editor. But if we do have a need to get directly to our database, there is a way to do so, and we're going to take a look at that today. But first, let's get ourselves set up with a new Prisma Postgres database. I've got this project set up here, all ready to go with a Prisma CLI, and we can do NPA x prisma init dash dash db and passing this flag is going to step us through getting a new database for the region us east one is best for me so i'll choose that project name can just be prisma connections All right, it looks like everything ran. We can check the environment file here to see what we've got. And we do have a database URL. We can also confirm things over in our Prisma console. So let's go over there. We'll refresh the page here. There we go, we have our new database showing up, so we're all set to go. Now this connection string here, it's given by database URL by default in this environment file. If we were to initialize Prisma without passing that dash dash db flag, we would get a database URL with a sample regular connection string to a Postgres database. And that looks quite a bit different from what we see here. This one is Prisma plus Postgres, so this special protocol, and it's going to accelerate.prismadata.net, and it's passing an API key. And the API key here itself has all of the info for which database to connect to and how to do so securely. But the issue is we can't go and take this connection string and go over to table plus and try to reach the database. That won't work for us. However, there is a way to do that, and that's with the Prisma Postgres tunnel. We're going to take a look at how to use that. First, though, let's get a migration going. So let's go to schema.prisma. We have got our Postgres database URL there. Let's have a model. We'll just do user for now, just something simple to get us going. Then let's do npx prisma migrate dev, name can be init. All right, looks like the migration is in. We can actually go over to console here and we can click into studio to see what we've got. So clicking through to the default development environment, then over to studio. All right, there's our new user model. Let's just add a record to get ourselves going. We can just have whatever for the ID. Let's do john at doe.com and whatever for the password. All right, so how do we connect to our database if we're not going to go through the regular connection string to accelerate that we get when we initialize our project? Well, what we can do is use the Prisma Postgres tunnel. And to do that, let's do npx at prisma slash ppg dash tunnel. So this is going to go get the PPG tunnel package and it's going to connect to our database directly for us via a secure tunnel. All right, so it looks like we are connected. We've got a host name, which is localhost. The port is going to be randomly assigned. So each time we do this tunnel connection, that will give us a new port number. And then username and password, those can just be anything or they can be empty when we go to connect. And that's because we don't need actual credentials here to get connected to our database. We're doing so via this secure tunnel. The tunnel package is taking the database URL here that we've got in our project, and it's using that to establish a connection directly to the database. Now, one thing to note here is that if we weren't already in the context of a Prisma project here, what we would need to do is in whichever terminal we're using, we would need to export this whole environment variable and its value so that it can be picked up by the PPG tunnel package. But since we are in the context of a project here, it's just going to get picked up automatically from the environment file. All right, so let's see how to connect to this from table plus. So I'm gonna grab this port number, I'll copy that. Then over here, let's go to table plus. We'll give this a name of prisma underscore connections. The host, again, that's just local host. We can give the custom port number here. Username and password, those can be whatever, or they can just be blank. And then in the database field, we can connect directly to the Postgres database. That's the name of it. Now a note here about SSL mode, if you normally have it set to preferred or required or some other value, you'll have to set it to disabled. And that's because the tunnel itself is establishing the encrypted connection from our machine to the database. All right, let's go to connect. So it looks like the connection went through. We can view the user table. There's our single record. So it looks like everything is good here.
Now, one thing we might want to do when we go to connect is we might want to set a custom host name or a custom port, and that is supported. So what we could do is if we just kill that connection, so we'll do the same command again, npx at prisma slash ppg tunnel. But this time let's pass a flag for, let's say a custom port. And that can be whatever we want, maybe something like sevens. All right, so the port name is there. If we go back to table plus, we are disconnected from the previous one. That's because the port changed. We can edit it though. And if we select that same port value and connect again, looks like we're back in. So the question might come up, when do we actually use this tunnel as opposed to going to accelerate to connect to our database? And the answer is that we would only connect via the tunnel in cases where we really need to get to the database, but we can't do so using the regular connection through accelerate. So cases where we need to get to our database through a SQL editor like table plus or data grip or something else, or maybe cases where we need to run some kind of tool against our database and we need a regular connection string to do so. However, connecting through our applications should always go through Accelerate, and that's because, again, Accelerate handles connection pooling and caching for us. So if we were to go directly to our database from our application through the tunnel, we'd be losing out on all the benefits that we get from Accelerate. So there we go, two different ways to connect to our Prisma Postgres database. And again, the default should always be going through the connection string that we get from our Prisma Postgres database. But again, we do have tools to get directly there if we need to. If you've got any questions about connecting to your Prisma Postgres database, feel free to drop them in the comments below, or you can reach out to us. We're at prisma.io on the web or Prisma on Twitter. Thanks for watching.